Good day everyone! I'm Erin Xavier and Poserio from BPN 2A. So in this video, I'm going to make a reflection about the topic in 1.2 which is it is all about the establishing and strengthening a coordinated school health program. So in this topic, we tackled about the effective coordinated school health program. So there are eight following that can lead to an effective coordinated school program. The first one is the leadership. Second, advisory committee. Third, board policy that are supportive. Fourth, map of existing school-based and community-based resources. Fifth, need assessment. Sixth, programmatic needs. Seventh, plan development. And lastly, ongoing evaluation. So aside from that, we also tackled about the types of evaluation. So there have three types of evaluation. The first one is the process evaluation. The process evaluation activities enable school staff to gather information regarding the quality of services, learning and teaching, program implementation, and other activities. The purpose of process evaluation Evaluation is to enable school personnel to gather information regarding students, teachers, families, and community member perception of the quality of the program. Second is the impact evaluation. It is the evaluation activities that measure the impact of the program also need to be developed. This evaluation collects data that measure the program effectiveness in producing gains in knowledge and achievements in the health behavior that are program targeted. So the last one is the outcome evaluation. So it improves health status, outcomes are intended goals of the quality school health program. So that would be all. Thank you.